Hello, this is Chris Lucian, and I'm going to show you how to download and install the Mob Programming Timer. So go to Google and type in Mob Timer and Python. You'll get the latest version of the Mob Timer. And what you can do is you can actually go to GitHub and go to Releases here. Or if you want to, you can hit the Download Now link in the documentation. What you'll see here is a zip with the different versions of the mob timer. There's a Mac version uh, somewhere earlier on. It's just an app file. But for the Windows version, it's moved along a little bit farther. So we're just going to go ahead and download that. Open it. Extract it to your favorite location. And even though it's in Python, it used Py2exe, meaning that you don't have to download any version of Python. You can just go ahead and extract it and then run it from the executable, and it will be working. Great. So now if you go into the mob timer config file, you'll see a number of settings there that are available for you. Uh, I'm going to leave them at their defaults for now, but you could use them. Uh, you can change any of these to change the behavior of the timer. So launching it from the executable, and I run it anyway. And this is the default display. You can left click or right click to increase the, increase the time. You can also mouse wheel up or down. I'm going to set it to five seconds just to demo the application. You can go in here, add names. So Chris, Tom, and Henry are now added to the timer. You can move mobbers up or down. You can skip a driver, meaning that you move the pointer of the next current and next driver. And so it says that I am up, and it will go for five seconds. So I'll start mobbing. And you'll notice that the screen countdown move slowly counts down and then eventually pops back up. Now you'll notice a new window. In this window, you can see that you can hide the background in case you need to discuss something before starting the timer again. Or you can hover back off of it. You can also see who's up next at the keyboard and who will be the next person to uh, take that position after the next run. Finally, you have the continue mobbing button. You have a set of tips here that can be customized in the files. And you can go back to the mob setup. I'll hit continue. You can see it go for another five seconds. This window, if you have multiple monitors, will jump between monitors. You'll get a new tip each time this comes back up. And then if I go back to mob setup, you can actually see this screen again and be able to add the team. One more note is that you can set a default team in the uh, file, in the config file. And so it's just a comma delimited set of names. And so uh, the default's there, and it will just add them automatically. So I'll go ahead and quit mobbing. And that's it. That's how you use the mob timer.